Wait, okay, hold on. You can hear me, you can hear me, right? Oh, how does this work? Okay, so it's all good. Yeah. Okay. Because I was, I, I've been clicking for a while when he said the thing that said join. I was like, why am I joining? Okay, 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 okay. So. Are you sure I don't you sure I don't need to download um Twitch? Oh. I mean just just basically dear thing was dear thing, you know? I mean, but you're not seeing me? No, just you. I mean, should I be anything, hearing anything else? I'm not sure. Good. the look on <laughs> oh they went, oh god okay <laughs> yeah actually, actually i got lined up to it like seriously bro you got lined up for this no no it wasn't for this but it was a different purpose but i'm just saying i still have to because if, if i didn't get lined up i would, I would say i still something actually look good you know to represent you know i'm, I'm representing myself you know <laughs> well that is true Re representing yourself is always the best thing to do um, yeah. Alright, so I'm trying to sort out my little um 
camera thing in here. Um, ah, there we go. All right. So what am I? Am I supposed to be seeing something or no? Um, not necessarily. All right. So what happens is that I'm streaming it, right? I'm streaming it through Twitch using Discord. Uh, okay. I don't. I don't know if you understand, but. It's basically me. I mean, just... I, I, I actually know. I actually watch critical. So actually, not is 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 Twitch thing or streaming, but is YouTube videos. So actually, have an idea. Okay. Of right. What they start to do. You know, right. critical, right? Penguin, right? Gamer. Okay. Gamer. Gamer. Continue. Continue. No, you, you don't know Charlie, like the guy with long hair. Charlie. Who Charlie got. Oh, critical, critical. He has this boring voice. <laughs> like it's not a bad boring voice. It's a good boring voice, you know. A good boring uh, voice. How does that work, now? Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, you must on the guy. Like he's a he's a big gamer. Like, but he doesn't. He, he used. He, he doesn't only focus on games. He, he streams a lot on Twitch. Mm-hmm. He is. All right. Let me see if I can just. Like, can I send it? Send things here. Yeah, you can send links. Oh. Um, Wait. well, and <laughs> welcome, welcome everyone. Um, it's your boy Java slash Zen, and I know y'all are wondering what the heck is going on, but of uh, but of course, this is a special but rather late um podcast. Of course, um, well, my 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 resident streamer is unavailable tonight, but our special guest is none other than. Elistan. Me, of course. Of course. There's music there. <laughs> <laughs> music. There, there, there's music in the background to be honest with you, that's why. So so okay, like okay, okay. so like if you if you if you if you listen back to this, because I'll post I'll post it on my YouTube and I'll send you the link so you can post on yours. Okay, 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 so okay, okay. so you'll you'll hear what's going on. So anywho's um as you can plainly see Elliston is Jamaican, like myself, and uh, yes, it's the actual word the hat spelled sort of, yeah, but so, you didn't realize this bread about sort of. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, let me, let me pull up, let me pull up, so let me pull up a different stream music here because I don't mean, want it to, oh lad, Valentine's Day special, yeah, it's like Valentine, oh god, ah, oh. oh my Keep god. <laughs> Keep your I mean, back. I might, I might, like, at my age, at my age, but can't just have my back in there anyway. Oh god, y- you're you're not that old, bro. Rasta, when you reach my age, you're not something up. <laughs> you're not that old, my G. You're not that old. We're, we're we're in the same age bracket here. Well, yeah, but I mean, I mean. We all genet we all age genetically differently, you know. True, so, true, 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 true. So I mean, it, like, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, so basically, um, let me see. Let me just start off by giving, like, breaking the ice a bit. Can you just tell us a bit about yourself, what you do, and all of that? All right. So, like, how much details you want to give? Like, like, I mean, how much? I okay. mean, <laughs> well, okay, so let me try. So basically, um, Elliston. So basically, the, the only person who called me Elliston would be like people from high school, like mm. like like um, Rodney Java, you know. So only a few persons call me Elliston. Um, most persons outside of high school people would call me um Roman. Like that's the actual name I go by, you know. Mm. Which is which is my middle name actually. So it's, it's not a made up name. It's, it's my real name, you know. Okay. Uh something that something's about me. Well um I could give like let me give you a little surprise. As you know I'm Russ, you know I'm Russ, but you know you notice something? Like I cut, I've, it, I've, I cut, I've... cut it last night. I cut it last night. Just last night, bad man? Just last night, like like wickedness, so So so, so, so um, no wait, like, hold on. So so what 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 sparked this sudden well, to be honest, um, because as you know, I'm in, I'm in New, York, New York right now, so I was with my sister, and I got up like Saturday, and I was in the mirror as usual, looking at myself, and I'm like, oh damn, like, boy, you're lucky. But anyways, you know, just, just regular admiration, and then I was just like, 
two days a day. I'm like, what? Like two days a day? I'm like, two days nah, a day, you just chopped off. Like, you know yeah, yes, I was, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it tomorrow, which is Sunday. So tomorrow, Sunday, yesterday, I actually just, I was, I was actually trying to retain a lot of it because I was trying to cut my locks here to retain the length and stuff. But mm. then, um, it was so tiring. I just had to just cut it. You want to see it? Go so ahead. I'm sure. Happy. Like bro this. this look like this reminds me of you from high school fam just, you just have with it like, yeah my hair hasn't been like this for like years for a long time yeah you know? yeah that's man. A... <laughs> yeah so that's so that's that's the i mean for, for the first time in seven years a barber actually i put him hand on my ear like seriously seven you know, years my you se- so but so bad man yeah, seven years I'm, in a trim dog I'm, I haven't been to a barber and even if I cut my hair, I did it myself. Oh, you, know? you did? Okay. Oh, so you, yeah, you know how to trim hair... yourself properly? Yeah, man. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, of that's course. Cool, that's so, cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. You know what? But no, I'm not sure what the new look is about. So anyway, so about myself. So I'm cur- re- currently residing in France. That's my home, basically. Uh, what do I do? Like Java, he, he streams. I YouTube. I guess I can say I YouTube. Um, I also uh, do a lot of volunteering activities, I guess, like traveling, like languages. Uh, I'm a very, I like sports as well. Like, even though I'm, I'm on vacation, I still have to tell my parents, like, hey, listen, if I'm not going to the gym, it's not happening. I'm not staying. I have to go to the gym. It's important to go to the gym. Mm. Because I eat a lot. I eat a lot. So I have to balance with sports, you know? Yeah, so. with, the, with the physique, right? Okay. Yeah, money, man. So, so, I guess so, that's it. Yeah. So you mentioned two things. Um, you know, France is your home now, and um, you enjoy to travel. You enjoy traveling, you know. Yeah. Um, but also, you love languages as well. So, you know, how much, how many languages do you know at this point? Well, it, like, if I want to boast and be like, okay, then let's boast a little bit. I'm actually nine. Like, boast in the sense of um. Just giving you a number because I know enough expressions in each language mm-hmm. to not be copied with us. But if you want me to tell you a more realistic number, which it means I can survive in a country that speaks a language maybe around five. So that between would feel five nine. Yeah, we are feeling comfortable. The other four would be uh it, I'm in a learning process or some skills are stronger than others yeah okay so that, that's that's where it's at yeah okay so it, so it, so bro yeah so bro tell us what, what's france like like you haven't spoken uh, from i've known you since high school you haven't spoken english <laughs> so what's france uh, um, like oh God. well you know the funny thing is france is it, France is my current reality right now. That Fra- how do I tell you what France is like? All right, I can compare the states, I guess, because I I've been to, been to Jamaica for like four years, four years. So, um, like one reverse culture shock. Uh, France is so quiet. At least I forgot that people used to play music all the time because the first time I went to France. I was the only one playing music in my apartment, like, and I sat to them, like, what many of them know? Mm-hmm. You know? So I've got so used to France being quiet, especially in my neighborhood, that coming here and I hear music, I'm like, what the hell? That's so weird, you know? What yeah. France is like, it, 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 it's filled with culture shock and differences in the sense that, uh, <laughs> where do I start? What, like, a different, I, I have to start with differences, like, lunchtime. Lunchtime is like, um, a one hour thing like and if it's a business thing it could be like two hours because they believe in lunch and spending time with people and eating and digesting but what is france like i mean it, it it's like you see it on tv in a book the alpha tower nice looking building architecture painting galleries art uh things looking fancy wine and cheese it's literally what you see what you see in books is exactly but, what it um, is it's exactly like, like that but you know you have the day-to-day life versus the tourist life so i guess um how can i explain what that is like so going to the eiffel tower it looks pretty but then if you get close enough you'll be like oh the, the thing looks so rusty <laughs> <laughs> you know but 
it's still pretty. I mean, true. You, you, you see a lot of people with cheese and wine, like the wine, very, very cheap. You have expensive ones, you can get really good wine cheap. Cheese, one of them, like, well bad and well stink, but Lally. people like them. Well, uh, the culture is so different because eat more, because I think for the first two years, I had to de Jamaicanize in order to um, mm, survive, I guess, in order to not be, in order to live good. I had to, um, yeah, de Jamaicanize. And then it wasn't until my second year, one night I was walking, that I realized I was in France. I'll tell you what I mean. It's like I've been living there, but I, it still didn't kick in. So it one night I just, oh, okay. yeah, I just spent one night to go for a walk and I was walking. I'm like, Hey, Rasta, what on there? A France man, you know? And it's like, that's when it actually sunk in. I'm like, oh, wait, a France man, you know? Yeah, like, seriously, like, seriously. So, you know, it's like, because, the thing about it, I'm like, I, I wasn't touching the wall, like, 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 mad people must tell to be drunk. I was like, wait, I'm legit in France. The place with the aspect of what is speaking French, the language of love and all that. I'm like, yo. And I think that's, after two years, actually sunk in that, hey, I'm actually, I'm legit in France, you know? So, no, all my habits are very, very French, like eating and expecting there to be bread on the table, mm. eating, expecting there to be dessert, um, complaining about things that I shouldn't complain about. Oh, <laughs> really? Meaning, yeah, because in France, we don't work, we don't work a lot, so to speak, like, Legally, you should work 35 hours per week. Legally. Yeah, that, that's the, you, you can work overtime, of course, you know, all of that. Um, so I work actually fewer than 30 hours, way fewer than 30 hours. And sometimes if I get one hour more, I complain like, what one? Yeah. Like, I get holiday, then it means like the first three hours, be I was on board, so I'm like, I can't bother with this because I've been so, like, no, I'm on holidays, like, Great advantage every six weeks, we get like two weeks of holidays. That's like wicked. Every six to, like, weeks, the, yeah, yeah, it's almost every six weeks. The thing I would like in September, the first four weeks in September, then around the third week of October, we get one week holiday, then one week in November, then in December, we get two weeks after this, after the second week of December, then coming on in January, it's also January work, then in February, we get two weeks of holidays again, the start and second week. Then we have March straight. April, we'll get two weeks again. In May, we have like a long weekend, get some special. And then summer. Yeah. So why would I want to work anywhere else as a teacher, as a teacher, as a teacher? Yeah, Rasta. That's how that's I'm a teacher, Rasta. Like, yeah, I give up the holidays, Rasta. Like, I thought about working in the States. The States pay more, but like, giving, giving up the holidays, no, nah, man. Nah, nah. Can't go the holidays though. <laughs> My <silly> word. <laughs> My word. <laughs> That's all I can say. Y- your life be lit, bro. Okay. Yep. Well, no, it makes sense. No, no, it makes sense. Like every kinda every six weeks you go off and yeah. leave. Okay. So so the ambience, because I mean, France is well known for the language you know language of lovers as you said and all um day to day as you said is it is the nightlife any different all right um first of all let me let me just comment on the language of love in that was, was nothing you mentioned that some person speak french well and some person just so nasty when them talk french just so ugly but just saying right just making the language of love clear mm. but in terms of nightlife uh I am not a big night goer as you would have known. Um yeah. I have gone I have gone out with young people. <laughs> You're not and, old, bro. <laughs> yeah, man, but with younger people and what I've noticed though is that night nightlife is very it, you have a, you have various types of nightlife. You have this the regular nightlife which is more common. And that is where you go to somewhere where people dance, but no one really dances or you find a few people who dance. Or they wait until they get drunk to dance. There's a lot of drinking first, oh, which is, I guess, okay. normal because French people tend to drink a lot, and it's almost as if the aim is to drink and see who vomits first. That's what I've got personally. Okay. The other nightlife would be where um, people just go out, and this depends on 
we're so all age group, not just the younger ones, where you bar hop. That's like a, a thing. You bar hop from outside bars to inside bars and then to a club bar and then to a club final. So mm. out of bar hopping just to move from space to space and down one place close you go to another one. So it's pretty normal. Other than that, the other one would be where you have crazy friends, you all go out and you just sit up outside, you walk, you talk, you grab something, you drink and move about. So it's sort of a little chilling with friends. So that's what nightlife is outside of clubbing and yeah, that's what it really is. You mm. might have smaller variations, but that's the general of what I've seen at least. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That, that's that's not too bad. Um the bar happened that you mentioned, it's kinda like back home, back here. Um, you'd have some parties where as one party finished and you go to another party to support right, that yeah, other party yeah. and so on and so forth until it reached like 4 a.m. So that's that's uh, it's not new there. Okay. But if I can come in the way we friend, you can come in there. You have yes, clear with the bar hopping, but here house parties are really important as well, where you, you have to be invited first and so or you know someone is going. So house parties are, are also a thing. Oh. Whereas, like, even if it's not necessarily a, uh, like an outside place, it's like, oh, our brother down the road, we know him. Like, come get out of the door, you know? Okay. So, okay. there's also that house party, personal invite culture as well. Okay. That's that's pretty cool. No, that's, that's not bad. Okay. So, so, so. All right. So, you mentioned that you do a lot of traveling, right? Um, right. Well, this is your time to, to boast, really. Right. So, you can let us. If you want, how many countries course, have you course. been to so far? Uh, countries. I'm going to just roughly say maybe five. <laughs> I'm, I'm just doing it like without counting. Um, I know that I've I spend most of my traveling. I, I do most of my traveling within France mm-hmm. because it's cheaper. For example, in the summer, sometimes you have like because they encourage the travel. You have tickets for like one euro. One euro. So I either, yeah. So it's like a special offer, but within my region so mm, mm. and i usually just go to different cities within the within the summer period so like outside of france i've been to um spain which is not far it's literally not far mm. uh i think i just went to belgium but let's this is belgium belgium is like one hour from where i live the close belt literally that's a lie 50 minutes 50 oh. minutes from where i live you know so that's and that's if you go by a bus if you go by a car it could be much shorter you know so I've been to Belgium, and Belgium in itself is big. I've been to several cities in Belgium, at least three, four cities out of my head, like Anvers, which is, <laughs> what do you call it? Antwerp, which is Antwerp, Ghent, um, Bruges, and some, and some Kunjik or something. And then, so it's Belgium, Spain, because I left from Belgium to Spain. I've been to Luxembourg. Oh, but that's how they pronounce it? Luxembourg? That's what I was just going to say. I don't know which is the right pronunciation because I, I in my head, I'm, we say Luxembourg. So I'm like, wait, I guess Luxembourg is the French, is the English pronunciation. I don't know. So I was, I was just going to say, you could correct me if, if I'm not using listen, the English pronunciation. Listen, I just call, I just say Luxembourg. <laughs> I always say it like that. Really? Oh, Luxembourg. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Luxembourg. Okay. Because I'm used to the different so it's so the Luxembourg, it's Belgium, Spain, Luxembourg. Um, I've been to uh, Germany. I forget Germany, but Germany, Germany is pretty good. I Amsterdam. I've been to the, the Netherlands a lot of times. Netherlands quite a bit. Like to mm-hmm. Amsterdam, um, to another place. So that's five already. Uh, I've been to. Where else? Yeah, I think those are the those are the main places I've been to since the last few times. But I've been to other places like um, Serbia. I've been to Serbia. I've been to Austria. I was I, I was to, legit about to say, was, have you been to Austrich? Yes, I, I've been to Austria. Austrich, getting that out. Um, and this year, I'm planning to go to, I well, there are three th- places on my list: um, Portugal, Italy, and Prague. Prague is in is that Poland? Poland. Prague. Pra- Prague, Prague is in Prague. Prague is in Czech Republic. Really? Yeah. So that's where I'm planning to go. 
So I have those three places. I just need to see how it works out. So, but I've, I've done mainly city city traveling, like yeah, cities, different yeah, cities, yeah. like exploring different things. You know, yes. Each city has a, like has a different culture. It's like I have my videos with each city I go to, so that sort of gives an idea of what I do. Yeah. Okay, that that's that's cool. All right, so because for me personally, I'd like to visit Austria, of course, um, Switzerland. Um, well, everybody has been, everybody named Kat has been to Spain and Italy. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, the Netherlands, Finland, for example, yeah. you know, countries mm-hmm. like special countries in Eastern Europe I'd love to visit. Well, I mean, you can, I mean, just a third of the screen here. I mean, if you ever pass by, you know, once you pass me by, I make a pit stop in France, you don't have to think about where to eat, sleep, and all them something because I am own apartment. Hmm. So just have space. <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> yeah, let's just you know, just, you know, so I have space. In, so there's always possible to stop by. Um, the, the 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 Netherlands, it's good. Like if I would, if I were to recommend a city, I would say anywhere in the Netherlands, almost anywhere, because there's this sort of emphasis on walking, cycling, healthy. It, it gives that impression. And in Amsterdam, it's so judge, judgment, judgmental free. That's it. Judgment free. Judgment free. Oh, yeah, so they're very you, non-judgmental. Yeah, and I give one example. So I went there and so one example. Whilst uh-huh. I'm in France, I always feel like a foreigner in France. Always. Oh. Even if I speak French, there's I'm not saying it in a negative way. Just to say that there's always something or someone to remind me that I'm foreigner. Not like hey, I'm a foreigner. And it's like um. I would go to do something and someone is like, why don't you know this? And I'm like, hello, my accent, I am not from here. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Versus in the in the Netherlands, I have never got that question. It's like, oh, you don't know. Well, this is it, you know? Okay. There is, there is okay. almost expectation. As if, it's, it's almost as if I am one of them. They, And even if they are like, oh, he's a foreigner, it's like, it doesn't matter. It, it's not, it didn't even put a pause in the conversation. So I think it's very, very open and friendly plus it's too it's i'm not sure if, if you consider it too open but there's a lot there's there are not many rules i've seen things i shouldn't see uh if, if there's a red light district i didn't know about that i've heard about what it is but i didn't know until i saw it myself no but pana, pana, but pana level, like i've i've i haven't even been there but i've read it so i know what it is like they are free so you shouldn't expect to not see uh, That's the, cause, no, because I, it was it was so. For example, like I was just walking. I'm like, why do you call it the red light district? Oh, in gosh. the night, I thought it literally glows. There are red curtains. It glows in the night. There's a red light, and I went by, and I thought because I, in theory, what was I thought the people would have been like, let's say, imagine dressed up like that, like this dress. I'm like, okay, come in. No, they're showing what they're selling. They're showing what they're selling. <laughs> Jesus. They're showing what so they're they, they, they like, just open the curtain. They just drop, pull apart the curtains and be like, what's yeah. up? No, but I, I would have passed them, like, call you. And they do them. And some of them dress up different. They have different dresses, depending on person's style. Like, I saw these police disguise a little bit. A bunny disguise. Um, nice, uh... so, yeah, yeah. And while there, a guy was like, he wants some drugs. Like no coke, I'm like no. <laughs> weed is weed is weed. You can smoke there legally too. There's yeah, weed, there's... yeah. <laughs> the weed is legal, <laughs> but just like that, like, hey yo, bro. Not even like discreetly. You know, it's like, oh yo, fam, you want some of this? Yeah, this is the guy just because I got to figure that out. Want some? I know, sir. It, it, it's, it's very and people don't seem to judge what what you do. Like you don't, they don't care. For example. They're lobbying for prostitutes to be prostitutism to be recognized as a full profession. Like they, 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 they serious. They, they, they don't care what you want to do. I heard fashion. Some, yeah. I heard I heard something that that was legal in Germany some years back. Uh, I'm not so well. It seems legal. At some places in Germany they allow it as well, but it is legal. But I wouldn't say it's a profession. So they want it to be mm. this at the same value. Okay. I mean. Imagine this. I don't agree with that. Going to school and say, "Hey guys, it's, it's what do you call career day? Listen, girls, forget forget your school, your high school education. 
have a good bod. And <laughs> you don't even need a good bod. Let's like, go to the, just, just go. Just go. <laughs> just go. go. You That's already crazy. have assets. Yeah, you just go. Yeah. So, so you have a hand. You have a hand. Don't worry about some person like them fetish if you don't have a hand. <laughs> Come, we we'll accept everybody. <laughs> like... Bruh. <laughs> Fab. <laughs> So a lot of a lot of folks will be thinking to go into go to Amsterdam soon. Okay. Um so so you mentioned that you have you're a vlogger, you have a YouTube channel. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, so you can just give a bit a bit of what you do there and how has that been going on so far? Uh well what I do so basically my channel I, I can't tell you what I do without giving the history. So meaning I have three or four three slash four main focuses, which is language, travel and culture. And then I recently quote unquote added short films because I really do like short films. However, um I have realized that through my journey it's been difficult and sometimes stressful to keep these three or four categories. For example, a short film being I am the I'm a crew, I am the crew. Okay. okay <laughs> After okay. editor cameraman everything so it's sometimes difficult to sometimes get a short film when i have ideas but it's a one-man team mm. or a language video it's sometimes hard to meet people who are willing to be in a video and traveling i'm not always able to travel where i want to go monetary reasons or other obligations sometimes yeah, things pop up yeah. uh, so because of that i had to find other ways of making what i do possible and so i rebranded my channel and just call it I do it if I like it, oh. and that's that's really what it is now. So even though, it's, sorry, I do it if I like it. Sorry, I still try to focus on traveling, the original um, category. So, like here coming to the US, sorry, I um, blog my experience. Um, I did some vlogs to my mom today, so I'm just doing things. I say once I like it, you do it. I need some once, once I like it, I do it, mm-hmm. and if other people like it too, then that's even good. Wait. All right, so yeah, I you might find a cough a little bit. <laughs> so that's really what is uh, I also if I find something interesting, and I'm like this is cool, I'd want to share it to people. And the idea is to my, I guess my idea with my challenge always to help to show people different things they can do and make them inspire them in some way. I'm not gonna be like oh, my dream is to inspire people through my channel. No, I'm not that. That's not that's not. I'll, I'll be lying if I said that. It's just it's just, it's to. Sorry, show people things like I've been to this country would you like to go there too or I've met these people this is my experience you know mm-hmm. but yeah, how is it going I think one of the big takeaways for me is that it's going well <laughs> wait I need to drink water it um when I say how it's going I'm going to respond quite honestly you know yeah man be honest yeah, so, so with those filters, um, am I a big YouTuber where people see me and I'm like, are you not? No, 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 no. I have had a few experiences, a few where people have recognized and be like, oh, that's cool, you know. I have got a few props from my channel where I've got like the watch all is where I don't have it now. I got from a deal. I've got a few things from people like brands. Nothing exciting, you know. Mm-hmm. Where's that start? The, it is. It is. You know. I'm currently monetized, so make some change. Not enough money to send me to mm, quit, my, quit my job. Right. Like, yo, boss, man, leave tomorrow. You know? Not, not like that. It's just, <laughs> it's just a start, you know. But the what I'm most grateful for is that, and I think this is one of the biggest things for my channel is that um, it's allowed me to do things that I've, that I wouldn't have normally done, and things that I've always wanted to do. For example, I've always been interested in acting. Didn't really get the chance. And I'm like, one day I'm like, yo, I mean, I mean, I can act myself. I, I did it, and I'm like, I was impressed. It's not an A class film, but I was impressed with my short story. Right. And the next thing that it allows me to do things that I wouldn't have done before. So, for example, I came here and I said to my sister, let's go to Manhattan. She's like, I've never been to Manhattan. I'm like, but why? She's like, why? And then I started to remember that I would have been, I was the same. People, I'm in Jamaica, people are like, you want a nigga? I'm like, why? Me know it exists. And then if you go there, me see on TV. However, now that I have a channel, my my motivation is let's go to that place so others can see that place. And by having this sort of mentality, I get to go places that I wouldn't have wanted to go originally. For example, the Netherlands. It'd have been cool to go. I, I can see it on TV and I would have been okay. 
but now with my channel it encourages me to go there the same for germany and other places i've visited it's always my channel that pushes me to go there to go there and by pushing me to go there i find out that i do i do some research i'm like oh wow i try food so my channel is sort of a, a thing that um helping me to better my life i guess okay yeah so that's really how i see it so i hope i responded to your question you well, more than you more than did and and for the viewers out there i'm quite sure they're touched as well and be like yeah i like this dude or yeah man just pack up my things and um travel don't, don't forget to subscribe to my only fans <laughs> <laughs> joking <laughs> Ladies, you heard it. <laughs> Elisan has a only fans, so I don't, I don't know what I would do on one. I don't know what I would do. <laughs> what I would just sh- show show my different side, my different side. Bro, all it is is just show your chest and that's it, fam. I'm I'm not okay. even joking, bro. Like just show your chest and that's it. Exactly, I show a, show a foot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, somebody somebody said somebody said at the workplace like, um, if only her feet were better looking mm. she, would have, she would have started an only fans just to, just to take pictures of her feet because apparently there's a I foot fetish I going on someone does that. yeah i hear that someone does that someone who's popular famous does that uh, people have different unique interests i exactly i am judging i be, i'm being honest i am judging <laughs> <laughs> i would not judge you negatively i would, i am if you say like i like smelling armpits i'd be like no that, that's wrong but I won't judge her to make you feel bad. But I will judge. I will be like, "Oh, brother, that, that's weird." Did, but I won't be like, "No, fire, enough for do that." Me, me say you do a wonder, but that weird, you know. So I will, <laughs> I will judge you, so, but I won't. So is it, is a it. thin line between judging and not judging. <laughs> a very thin line, but you already crossed yeah. the thin line because you're, 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 you're a judge. Mm, I say, "Yeah, man, weird man." But if you, if you make it happen, well, brother, do you, 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 you know, like, yeah, do I, you? I do have yeah, just do the judging, judging stuff. Yes. So, so my next question is, um, you know, basically, as a Jamaican who has experienced Europe, not entirely, but you know, experienced Europe, mm. um, how has that? Because you mentioned earlier that you had to de-Jamaicanize yourself for a, a bit yeah. to accept French culture. You know, how has that changed your mindset, your perspective? Um, while still oh. maintaining the roots well that's a very difficult question not difficult because i can't answer but difficult because it, it it's so compact in that there are there's so much to say there's so much to say you know um hold on uh when i say i to de jamaican de jamaican i it's because there are so many things that we that i have learned let me not say we that i have let me try to personalize because Maybe it's just me that I have learned in Jamaica that has um, done me wrong. I, for example, I'll give you something simple. Like being in Jamaica, I always had my sense of identity and my style. And I knew that some people didn't like it, but I didn't care because it is my identity and style. One example, I like wearing colors. I like I would go to work in like a red pants and a, and a green shirt. Mm. You know, and uh, it some people would be like, that's not fashionable. I don't like that. Or why are you so colorful? I went to the staff room once and I had my locks. I, went, I asked them to be somebody in the staff room, not, not, not the staff room, in the administrative department, block office, or something. And she's like, why are you behind this section here? Who are you? I'm like, I'm a teacher. She's like, I should did this. Like, you, teacher? I'm like, yes, I'm a teacher. Mm. So I have had that reaction where people don't still admire my passion my sense of passion and they 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 would judge it there are some persons who would see it as being weird or they, I, I got this negative comment once just being quite open like this this guy i didn't hear him someone told me it's like yo why are you so called colorful my fish i'm like just coming up very strong you know so and i'm like yo isn't that that's a little that's a, that sort of dark mentality yeah that you, you make you know for example you 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 buy a banana for example me me see the food me eat it me just peel the banana and some person be like yo why in a, in a joyful fashion in a, in a joyful fashion mm-hmm. you know i could see the joke and I, I would laugh 
But, but when you're going to be serious about the way I peel the banana, I'm going to be like, no, that's not something wrong. So, tra- transposing that reality to France, um, once I was in my apartment, that is something I, have, I, I don't think I'll forget anytime soon. I had a, I have a boulangerie, like a, a, a bakery near where I live, like literally 30 seconds off. I just go my door, cross, turn right, cross road, and that's, that's it. 30 seconds, walking quite comfortably. I was in a a marina or a shirt. I, I don't mind using my word marina outside. And I had an, a, a sort of leggings, you know? Mm. I was I, I, I went to the door, I'm like, wait, I can't wait this outside. I, I, I felt, I, I stood, in, I was cooking, by the way, and I just wanted bread to come with my food. I stood in the middle of my apartment. I stood up in the middle of my apartment for 30 minutes, 30 minutes, going back and forth, deliberating, convincing myself that I need to not do this. And I was like, but why? It's a stupid pair of leggings. But no, this it don't look right, brother. So I was sort of batting with that Jamaican judgment already. And I'm like, people, you sort of know you, but you live here. And I'm, I'm like, but wait. And I'm like, what would a Jamaican say? And then after 30 minutes, I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I went on side and not a, not, not a soul to me. First of all, not many people were, people were outside. Two, some people complimented me. The one and two, I'm like, okay, that's it. Okay. Um, Just to show another culture, I you, you, you must have seen my cosplay things, right? I like yes, anime yes. stuff. So, <laughs> I wanted to do a cosplay and uh, uh, I, I painted my nails black. Right. First of all, first of all, I, I wanted to do that. I'm like, nah. <laughs> I know that if I thought about it too much, I would have convinced myself to not do it. I went into the store and I just bought a nail polish and I was doing it, you know, but I need to go to the gym. First of all, when I go to the gym, no one notices me because it, it, people do their thing. That day, it felt as if everyone was looking at me. I think it's in my head, you know, mm. because it's never the case. It, people are doing what they know I'm doing, you know, and um, even dressing up sometimes as my, with, and going on the road like that. The Jamaican in me is like, they bring, they bring that weirdy, like, something wrong here, so I think that, I think there's a lot of judgment. Next thing, focus on my hair. When I was in Jamaica, people that said, boy, you know, see, I want your ear want to do. Cheer. People tell me, even my ear want to do, like, they are a good three months. People say, wow, I love it here. This girl, I walk with her boyfriend, stop with her boyfriend and just tell me something look good. Bruh. I'm like, I'm not getting that. So I'm like, other things from Jamaica have been in a negative sense. Um been they've been re i've been re sort of learning how to navigate but i'm, I'm by the way just to make it clear i'm not i'm not saying that in jamaica i was miserable it was the reality and i was i was okay with the reality but it didn't bother me i knew how to adapt it's just that when i went to the different environment which was which was different i started questioning some things which perhaps i wouldn't have questioned before i feel the things outside of that is that um Jamaica, sometimes, I think we're sometimes close-minded. Very. And in Taco in the chat just mentioned it as yeah. well. We're close-minded to simple stuff. Yeah. A, a lot of things, I think, we are close-minded. So I didn't realize that I, too, was... I thought I was open-minded because I've traveled a bit before. So I didn't, didn't realize how... Even close-minded I was regarding uh, certain things, you know? But there are some pointers which... I will give Jamaica some credit, like hygiene... I give Jamaica a plus on hygiene. I'll give you a random example. If someone does this and one of your audience does this, I'm not bashing you. I'm just simply saying it's something that I personally think it's good from Jamaica. And it's that your goat side clean. You leave mm. your house, your goat side clean. Mm. There are some persons who they will have a clean, like I saw this guy and this girl equally look sharp. When it's a sharp, like, yo, the brother look good. The girl look up as like a, a, a regular art girl. She look well cut. My girl's shoes, dirty. Like, like, I mean, dirt, not dirty. You know, no, you know about dirty. You know about dirty. Just it dirty. <laughs> you know? But she, I, I get her, like, <laughs> she, she, she well bad. See this guy, I lean up. Like, look at him, I'm going to take like a, like a photo shoot, you know? Mm. Look at brother. X white shoes. See my same X white shoes. X white shoes. And shoes supposed to be white. <laughs> we don't need white no more. <laughs> so, you know? I'm like the Jamaican in me is like you no know, you have cleaner shoes. At least the Jamaican me you know in me, like you have cleaner shoes, you know? Mm. Uh, so simple things like that. Um one thing did bother me though, like uh wait, I'm drinking water again. Uh wait. You know, it, it's cold because it's winter, you don't sweat. 
I would sometimes leave my house for like two hours. I go back home after wa- I wash my shirt. Yeah. Right. My like my like the clothes dirty. And then I said, well, on them like me never sweat, but I said, no, the clothes dirty. Clothes dirty. I'm realized the missing people wear the same thing like a uniform for a week or more. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, so Mr. Um, so <laughs> I have changed. I have changed in that regard. Where if it's cold, like winter, and I wear a shirt for two hours, I just go in and I hang it up so it can breeze out, and I can work another day because I don't have to for two hours. But once I've been done, I've been done for an extended period, I'm like, nah, it's dirty, you know. But I can't mm. say I changed in that regard. Um, another positive thing from Jamaica is bathing. Bathing. I'm gonna touch a, a French stereotype, which is somewhat true and somewhat not true. So basically, uh, I was I I tried what we call a flatmate situation to try and see what it would have been like to live with people because I've always been living by myself and I'm like, let me if we go to my comfort zone and I'm just try and live with French people to be more cultured. Mm-hmm. Uh, the girl said something to me. She was like, "Do you have problems like with the hot water?" I'm like, "No," because we have we have a shared um system. You know, no, she's saying bath we have shared shared heating system. I'm like, "No." Then she's like. Oh well, I guess it's because you you show in the mornings, and I'm like, yeah. she said because you show in the morning, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know. Because, what what she, she, what? Well, the, the problem is that I show in the mornings and night. I show before I go to bed and when I wake up, and she's like because I show in the mornings, I probably wouldn't realize because she only feels it at the time when she shows, which is only in the night. Oh. Oh. And I'm like, but no, I'm like, but no, beautiful girl. Yeah, them say get up, to, get up to your bed, raw and tear, <laughs> go up on the road and greet people. <laughs> no, first of all, I I wake up clean. I wake up, I short pocket to my bed. But before me interact with people, I have a bed, man. No, I have nothing. I can run to the shop to buy a piece of bread. Just wash my teeth, grab and wash my face and grab the bread. You understand? Mm, but mm. you go meet and greet people. No, man. Yeah, for, yeah, for fresh. For fresh to Yes, and Right. So other aspects of Jamaica that have been positive is how people interact with pets. I won't kiss a pet. I won't kiss any animal if if you have your animal and it's clean. If your animal is in, if your animal is clean, I see nothing wrong with it. But there are some person them dog you run for dung in a mud and still kiss dog same way. Either that same plate. And I say if you keep it out, your animal clean. I can see certain things. I'm like, okay, the dog is clean, which I I, I agree with. But some person them don't exercise any here. People invite me them yard. They say for the place smell furry. The, the place smell wrong. You <laughs> offer me food, now they tell them no. Oh. You know those. But what else has changed? If I may point to something that's very Jamaican. I think also Jamaicans don't like to travel. Um, I've had students who just just didn't want. To. I think I just my trying to force me to travel, encourage me to travel. A few Jamaican stereotypes that I've broken would be um, the need to not feel oh this is the need to not feel like you have to be a particular image. Even that was me, and yet in the back of my mind, some of my actions were automatically Jamaican, automatically conditioned to react a certain way. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm thinking of a practical example. Um, I can't think of an example right now, but one thing though, which I realized in New York today. I didn't realize how dang, how uncomfortable I felt being surrounded by familiar people. What? I'm trying not to make it sound, <laughs> to make it sound wrong. Because if I say it the way I want it, that's sound wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I explain on that one day. Like, uh... I'm trying to. I think if I explain, it's going to sound better. So, since I've been in France, I've never felt like my life was in danger. Bruh. Never. Married is this wait, wait. Okay. I've never felt that way. I've been in New York and where I have been, they're only Jamaican not only Jamaicans, mainly Jamaicans or Caribbean people, but even if you have other people too, Jamaica influence strong. Some mm. of them have never been to Jamaica, but their parents are Jamaican. You know they were generation Jamaican neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And walking through it, I me now I feel afraid where I was like grabbing onto my purse when I don't have. You understand? Because I don't have a purse, but it's like I felt this fear, like my step past my little to think about how to react. Mm. I, I, I won't say it's a sort of bias. I, I, I have small things like this. For example, most people are friends, we're angry, and they just blow me. Here's most people just that them just they say hello to them, they must box you. 
I've never had that. that. And that made me remember some aspects of Jamaica where I'll be outside and I just don't want to cross some people. I existed with them and I don't know how to explain it. There's a sort of deep fear. I, even though I'm older and I can rationalize it, there's, there's a sort of fear within. Like, mm. I don't know how to explain it. Imagine what I'm saying, danger, danger, danger. I just know how to escape it through instinct. There's this instinct type fear. And, um, and I guess in France, I think the thing is in France, people are afraid of me. Right. I'll give an example. I, I saw this lady, she just grabbed her purse, and she said to me, my friend tells him don't walk at night at certain places because it's a dangerous place. Me walk the people across the road. So people ask me that the fact that I'm black and maybe I'll hurt them. So mm. in, in Europe, I feel like the guy would be would be more probable to hurt you. Mm. But here, I feel like everybody can hurt me. <laughs> I think we're all up on the same playing ground. So I, I don't feel like the, the apex predator, I guess. So I don't know how to classify that as good or bad. It's just that it's, 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 a, it's a mentality too. Okay, yeah. the barber, yeah. the barber, the barber went to, let the barber went to. I've never been to the barber in France, but if you go to somebody, I'm not saying you know of exceptions. Um, are you open in general? You'd be like, hey, um, can I get this bottle? Them say, okay. I'm not about to want the water. It's too cold. It's too hot. You change it like 10 times. That is hell annoying. But at the most, people still have this sort of. I'm gonna be relaxed. I'm gonna go take a, take a bang up here. Go to the barber today. I'm gonna say, um, hey, uh, I just got my locks and my hair is a bit uneven. Mm. I want to make it even, but listen, I don't want to make my hair. Um, I don't want to make my hair to go to be like low or bald. No, it's like better sit on a better sit and chill, no. I said, God said, I know, I didn't want to tell him, he said, go on, but I was there with my mom, and she, we, were, we were going to the gym, so I was like, we never have time for you. Get Turn angry, and yeah. Up. And I'm like, maybe me have my feelings. So I say, all yeah, right, so light up here, so. I was like, light up here, so. And do that to myself, so wait, hold on, we have to say, if, me, if you're, if you're so uneven, we don't do it. So I say, no, what I'm saying is, and, this aggression too reminds me of back home where I'm like, I just don't like them people here. Like yeah, the aggression people. is unnecessary to be honest. It's like you, you know? make a request known, you make a request known, and it's like they're they're aggressive to it. Like, why are you aggressive to it? This is why you're in business. Yeah, you know, so I think that's where the fear comes from too. Where I think people would would always be aggressive. I think in France there's this hesitation. Mm. It's like ugly cool first. Probably it's like a little game thing with ugly cool first. And the bad and the bad and go But like here, I feel like there's no thinking. I just lick somebody. I think it's that sort of jungle feeling. Uh, I'm not saying Jamaica is a dangerous place where as a goat size mother girls will lick you down. No, but there is this sort of you need to you need to be cautious in a in a specific way. True. You know, so hopefully any Jamaican has this thing, don't think I'm trying to anything negative. I'm just trying to be as balance as possible and say how oh, i personally feel things mm-hmm. but i've been in jamaica and i've never felt that my life was in danger every day mm-hmm. but i do have moments where i would be like a load of man mm-hmm. i'm gonna say that that brother that bad company that like, you just feel sort of negative sort of energy or instinct saying run, <laughs> if you have true. To run. yeah <laughs> true 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 mm-hmm. and i mean uh, uh hold on so taco has a question here uh-huh. Um, she said, I don't know if I missed it, but are the French still kind of nonchalant about their body? As in, it's not a big deal if girls go without a bra and people can accept themselves. Uh, is that a thing? Like, are they nonchalant with their, with, you know, appearance or stuff? Um, well, the thing is, bras are no bra. That's really, the thing is, you do what you want to because this is the rule. So I was making a joke once at work saying, no, I think I'll wear a slipper to work. They're like, listen, do what you want. As long as they don't come naked. So, I, was, I mean, I do come like, wait, if you want to wear, if I want to come here and wear heels and I dress to my class, I can. What do you want? I mean, I want to wear a hat and a slippers. What do you want? So, not just for girls. People are like, you do what you want. Even tattoos, you know, tattoos, some place don't hire you. Yeah. The, the law says, specifically, you cannot judge someone for tattoos. If you wear tattoos there, or tattoos there, you cannot judge someone for anything like that, you know? But clearly, people have been company image and can't easily say they're not get a job for, you know? Right, right, but for right. the most part, um, no, women can do what they want. Um, there's literally, I would say, almost no restriction. 
and if your job requires, requires like a sort of safety procedure but yeah women just do what they want in fact my university students and i were having a debate where they said i want to wear what i want it doesn't matter what it is or how it looks i have that right legally they do and some of them exercise it so yeah i hopefully answered the question yeah i think i think you answered the question for taco there so taco okay. your question has been answered right so we're gonna wrap up because i know it's late it's late here and it's late here it's, how, how far are you you're like two hours ahead no in new york it's like nine eight fifty nine now oh so we're sharing the same time okay all right okay we're sharing the same time all right so like bruh all of this aside, I haven't seen in years, fam. I, I know, man. I mean, I actually get taller. You get taller. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just I have not there. seen you in years. I respect the transformation, though. Like it got a bit bulkier, um, which is which is okay, which is great All actually. Right. And you know, as a Jamaican living in Europe, you know, I'm 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 I'm, I'm proud of you, bro, and. Uh, if you want, you can just drop some languages in the in the in the channel. Uh, well, speaks freely. Drop. Just drop some f- languages. Um, French, French, Spanish, Anything? Italian, Austrian. All right. So what what, what you want me to tell? give me a give me a hint? Um, me just freestyle it. I mean, where you want me? Like, All right. So yes. you can if you, have, if you can give suggestions if you want, and I can just say something. I guess. All right, I'll just use this one. So let's basically promote it here. Here you can. You're free to promote your YouTube channel here, so you can do that. Right. You already said it earlier right. in English, so. All right, so I'll just talk randomly and translate back to English each time. All right, go ahead. All right, all right so uh, salut, je m'appelle Roman, et je suis Jamaïcain, et j'habite actuellement en France, donc uh, ça c'est ma maison. So hello, I'm Roman, and I'm Jamaican. I'm currently living in France, and that's my home. Ah, uh, <laughs> bueno, no sé qué más decir, pero actualmente estoy en Nueva York con mis padres. Estoy dando mi madre, so I know what to say, but actually I'm currently in New York with my family. I'm actually where my mom is. Um, and thought you will follow un poco en portugués, porque soy un poco más fácil, un poco como español, más. Existe una gran diferencia entre español y portugués. Eso me dice como o sotaque, a pronuncia que existe realmente la diferencia. So now I'm going to be speaking some Portuguese. There's some the difference between Portuguese and Spanish is mm-hmm. mainly with the mm-hmm. accent and sort of the pronunciation, and that's where the difference lies. Allora, um, non so molto bene parlare in, itali- parlare in italiano, ma ho un accento un poco strano. Allora, cosa più di um, cosa cosa posso dire in italiano? Um, ciao, sono Roman. Non so cosa più dire. Um, so it- Italian, so I don't know what to say in Italian. I guess my Italian is so good. Um, I guess, hey, my name is Roman. What else can I say in Italian? That's really what I said. <laughs> and from there, let's go to Deutsch. Okay, ich, ich, spre- ich spreche nicht Deutsch. Ich spreche ein wenig Deutsch, aber das ist spre- schräg für mir. Um, die um, Wortenordnung in Deutsch ist, uh, ist schräg. So, ich habe um, sehr Problem, sehr Problem mit dieser. But um, my accent sucks. Um, that's <laughs> scheiße. That's just scheiße. So yes, it is scheiße. So um, this Dutch, I don't really speak Dutch. I speak a little bit. Uh, my Dutch accent sucks, and my Dutch is shit. That's literally what I said. Um, which one? Let me just throw on this one now. So this one you should know. So um, I think maybe you could respond. So let's let's try and do that. So all um, right, all right, all right. Oh, hi, Jama-san. Genki desu ka? Ah, Elistan san. Genki desu, ne? Ii desu yo? Ah, boku wa, boku wa genki desu. Etto, um, nani o shimasu ka? Etto, hmm, a weary. Okay, daijoubu desu. Etto, um, nihongo, sugoshi, sugoshi nihongo ga hanesemasu. Demo, kore wa, え、難しいです。話せます。えっと、え、日本語が、え、学びます。勉強です。も。えっと、はい。あ、それで日本語が。ああ、いいですよ。いいですよ。Well done. 
I understood what you said. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. So, uh, then there's only two Serbians. So, um, Zdravo, um, Chaku Suti, hey, how are you? Uh, Roman's, Roman's son, um, Govrim, Nim, Govrim, um, uh, I forgot, I forgot the word for a little bit. So, I'll change that. So, Ne Govrim or Puno, um, Serbsky, uh, Mili, uh, Panama, yes, sir. So, there's Serbian. Hello, my name is Roman. I don't speak Serbian so well, but I understand. So something like that. So, hmm. yeah. Okay. So well done, bro. Yeah. From 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 <laughs> from French, actually from Cape French and Cape Spanish, <laughs> all the way to Serbian and counting. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. I mean, yeah, it's counting. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I probably I learned something as down the line somewhere, but. I mean, I still make mistakes here and there, but I can make myself understood in situations. And I do have a, I do have a, uh, I could say this, um, uh, Todomotachi, uh, Todomotachi, Nihon, Jin, Wa, Hanimas, or Himas. I think he's a person, I should say Imas. Imas. So I have a Japanese friend, so yeah, so he, we talk, so that. It helps my Japanese, so it, it, it helps a lot. It helps a lot. That's good. That's great. You know, I I, 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 I I actually wanted to, I always wanted to learn German. And I have learned some German along the years, but it stinks, really. I can, I can only, like, count to five, I think. Um, if I If I'm in Germany, I can... I can probably make out some of the words in terms of what they mm-hmm. mean, but to, to pronounce and enunciate them properly, I'll probably catch a sore throat. To be honest, yeah, it, 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 it sure comes a lot. Yeah, it comes a lot from the throat here, you know. And um, so that's German. I want to learn Austrian and um, Swiss. I think Swiss is a mixture of all. All the European languages, in a sense, really, yeah, given Swiss, their history. Yeah, I, I think, I, I think, yeah, I think maybe Swiss and Swiss has a lot of mixtures. I think mm. people who speak Swiss can understand a lot of German and other languages. Right. Austria, I think, I think in Austria they also speak German as well. Yes. German, German. Right? Yes. So that would help. You. There are differences. Um, yeah, I think in German as well they speak a lot of English. If you're in Berlin or. Um, Munich, 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 whatever it's called, that M place. Munich? As in the capital, sorry, not the capital, Munich? Yes, that, that's the place, Munich. Munich, Munich, I was trying to remember the current pronunciation, so. So, right. there are two Englishes widely spoken to, so you. I mean, Europe is nice. Europe is nice to come to. It, it's. There is so much liberty, and it's hard for me to explain what liberty is like. It, it's. I'm not saying. Things will be perfect you will find things that are so weird but once you get right. used to it you're like oh wow it's actually a nice place and above all i feel safe except for occasional rare bombings mm, that, that that that's a thing yeah that's still a thing yeah you know you know i guess, guess i prefer to be robbed <laughs> i would prefer to be robbed <laughs> i mean <laughs> sure at least you, at least the chances of you returning home alive is like 90 percent, right no. rather than I'm being so blown so. to smithereens okay there, there exactly. is that it's pretty nice and it's it's good living here it's, it's i guess what i appreciate if i may say the last word is to there's a sense of relaxedness the sense of importance on family friendships you have this sour as well but i feel so calm and relaxed i feel stress-free and i think that's, that's one of the great things i can take away. i just i never personally feel pressured that's personally good. that's good that's great i think that's one of the things i like living in in um in france so, or in Europe in general, it's so calm. Things are just different, you know? Great. And that is where you yeah. get the best out of people in terms of productivity. And um, with that, we're going to end the podcast here. Um, special thanks to my high school classmate, Elliston. Turn. Ah, do you touch my master? So, he, again, he's a vlogger. Um, he's a Jamaican living in France. You may as well say he lives and travels across Europe and soon mm. the rest of the world. 
because definitely he, he'll be traveling um i'll see you soon in france or austria or switzerland so or even iceland Africa, yeah, yes most definitely so again just plug in your your youtube so people can have an uh, idea how, where to follow uh, you from. How, how do i do that like you know you know rasta i don't know to do that here sir can i write can i write no, it's gonna is no, it's gonna go on my um Discord, but say it on the say it on the stream, say it live, just speak. Oh, okay, so it's Roman Rights, R O M O N, then W R I T E S, mm-hmm. and that's it. Yes, All that's right. it. Roman Rights. So that's it. Just Google it, or Google Jamaican in France, and I'm sure you'll find. I'm sure you you can't miss me. It's you literally like, can't. can't. Miss you literally can't. Yeah. You literally can't. All right, so I just plugged it in for me for you in my chat, so the fans will see it as well, um, spelled out. So, anyways, that is it, everyone. Um, mm. thank you as always for joining. Really appreciate everything. Shout out to you, Elliston. Respect, even though we had a late start, it's still there, mm. and all being well, we can do this again sometime in the future. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Well, while I'm still in New York, I'm gonna go back to France. We can organize it. Uh, Yes, man, most definitely. And of course, I'll send you the link to this so you can mm. post it to your YouTube and, um, you know, let your French fans know what's up. And we keep in touch. We keep in I touch. am a Rasta, so peace out. All right. Peace in the Middle yeah. East, everyone. Take care. All right.